Hey everyone, it has been a wild 24 hours, so I want to give you guys a couple of channel updates, a new channel update, and then on top of that, we're going to be talking about what Elon Musk said and where Bitcoin's price action is, because you guys know Bitcoin is just taunting us every single day here. So, uh, new channel update here, just very quickly. I'm going to be starting a second channel here. You guys have mostly subscribed to it already, but I'm just changing the idea of it because I haven't really had time to uh, go into it just yet. And I've realized that as much as I love doing videos on my main channel, they only give me three notified videos a day, which means if I put up more than three videos, nobody knows about it, which is kind of annoying. So what I'm doing with the second channel here is it's going to be called Cigars and Crypto, where I talk about cryptocurrencies while smoking a cigar. I'm trying to figure out what the YouTube ad policies are on that. So I'm going to try to get up to a thousand subscribers, going to try and um, get people watching the channel. And then if it does well, I'm probably just going to have it be a standalone channel because I'm still kind of afraid of where the YouTube ad regulations go or guidelines are on tobacco and that type of stuff. So get ready for some of those videos. When the videos do come out, I'll be there to um, give them to you. I just bought some lovely 1926 uh, uh, Padrones. Um, they have a lovely creamy flavor that I think you guys are going to enjoy. And then maybe I'll even get some sponsorships by cigar companies on the other channel, which will be fun. All right. Now, as far as uh, the last 24 hours, the one thing before we start talking about Bitcoin, it's going to be Elon Musk. He went full on warfare yesterday. And basically, if you guys didn't know, um, he was asked a lot of questions. And I'd actually tell you guys to go watch his whole um, talk with the guy from CNBC because I just thought it was very entertaining and it, I learned a lot from him. But he basically told the advertisers to go fuck themselves. Which I kind of understand in a lot of in a, in a large sense, and you know I, the media is trying to spin it. I think just a tad too much. What I thought he was saying is to the advertisers that are trying to bully him to switch to a certain position, go fuck yourself. Um, I think the media just kind of heard to every single advertiser on Twitter, go fuck yourself. Um, so I kind of disagree with the mainstream media with that, but. The fallout is still ongoing. People are talking like crazy. I think most people on social media, regardless of the platform, it could be X, it could be Facebook, it could be TikTok, whatever, um, YouTube. Most of the creators, at least, um, they seem to be all about Elon because, you know, money can be used in a lot of ways to bully different people. Elon just has that amount of money where he can't be bullied. And I think everybody always tries to make fun of him for buying uh, you know, Twitter and turning it into X. They act like he doesn't have any money left when in reality, he still has SpaceX right there. And you know how much money that's going to bring in? A lot because he, <laughs> SpaceX is better than NASA. But I wanted to hear you guys' thoughts on what some of the things that Elon Musk said about the advertisers, how he was saying that people should uh, are currently boycotting Disney and things like that because I just found that fascinating. And I think, you know, I don't pay for Disney Plus anymore. I just don't think the movies were that good. I Last time I watched it was a few months ago when Loki was out. And I, I just felt like after Loki, they really didn't have much in there. I heard the bad reviews for the Marvels. Uh, you know, I'm African-American. I'm, I'm a, I don't know, uh, maybe more liberally culturally. And their movies just suck because of poor writing. I, I feel bad every time they try to put an African-American in a Disney movie because you know they're going to give them a horrible writer that just can't do the, <laughs> the job. Um, and then as far as Bitcoin's concerned, guys, we're squeezing right now. I mean, and I don't mean the squeeze like we're popping up or crashing down or anything like that. As far as squeezing, I just mean we're hitting a level of resistance and that level of support is moving up. And by that, I mean that 20-day moving average. We need to have that 2,000, 1,500, $3,000 pop over the period of a week sometime soon. And I'm going to give it just a few days. I would probably surmise it needs to happen sometime before Sunday. But my predictions over the past few weeks have not been coming true as far as the swing trades because I kept on saying bearish. And even if Bitcoin, even if I say bearish and Bitcoin drops $2,000, which has kind of been the norm, that's not good enough for me because I'm wanting to see that follow through because I'm a technical guy. And if you hit that, te if we drop so fast, we hit that level of support and we ricochet back up, that's not really what I'm looking for. So I still make money. I guess some of you guys have still been able to make money off of it, but not the type of money that I tend to like. You know, when I used to come out and I'd be like, hey, everybody, today I took a massive short. I think I did one, um, you know, uh, early July when we this, the, the inflation ticked up a little bit. I was like, oh, and Bitcoin's at a level of resistance. Time to short. 
that came down for like a couple months, Bitcoin grinding down before it had another big pop, which led into the big move we saw today. That's kind of what I'm looking for, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen just yet because everybody is still waiting for that approval, which means that Bitcoin might be kind of boring for the next few weeks. Um, and I just don't, I don't think that's the case. But it just feels like every time we see some of these big moves, I think we're just getting used to like a 2,000-point a drop on Bitcoin one day. The next day it pops up 1,500 points or 2,500 points. We just have to get used to that. Um, I can't really trade because my computer's downstairs. I don't know if you guys can hear the fan downstairs. Um, but yeah, I'm not really even trying to trade without a computer. I just feel like it'd be a fruitless experience even if I try to use trading gear on my phone. But yeah, I wanted to hear you guys' thoughts on everything I talked about, especially the crypto versus uh, crypto... Uh, crypto and cigars podcast not podcast just you know channel i wanted to be doing uh because it'll start with a cigar talking about the cigar and nothing fancy it, it, at most it'll be a 40 dollar cigar and then from there going over some cryptocurrency charts and maybe some news but you see me a lot more relaxed and passive because the cigar is really ju just kind of they, they focus me a little bit more and i don't really have to talk as fast and do the spiel like i'm doing right now where i'm trying to like go through a whole bunch of list of things with cigars, I'm much more calm, much more relaxed, and, you know, I'm, I'm vibing, I'm vibing. So let me know what you guys think, and I'm, uh, I'm hopefully I'll be able to see you guys either Friday night, tomorrow night, or tomorrow. And hopefully the Seahawks win tonight with uh, against the Cowboys. Oh, God, I'm praying. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.